Today we're going to talk about how to cut out widgets inside the timeline. And if you go ahead and bring out the second clip that I inputted in the previous episode, you'll notice that we get quite a bit more footage down on our timeline. We can actually go ahead and play this. And you guys can see we now have 1 minute and 20 something seconds going on right now. Now, what we can do is we can actually go ahead and cut this down in case I don't want everything to appear inside this timeline. So if we actually scroll down to perhaps then here, let's say I don't want the last part of it. There's a couple of ways we can size down or, you know, cut away the back part of the clip. We can actually go ahead and just drag it down to where we want it to be. We can also go ahead and use the cut tool or the razor tool, which is over here in the side in our toolbar. I can cut where I want to cut the footage and just simply click on the last part and delete it by clicking delete on my keyboard. Another way we can do this, which is actually my preferred way, is that we can use this one up here called mark in. You can also just click I on your keyboard, which is faster, and then you can mark out by clicking O. So we can actually go ahead and see if I do actually go down here and I click mark in, it then highlights part of the timeline. If I go back and say, okay, I want to cut away the back part, so I have to mark out after I want the footage to end. And then I can go ahead and say extract, which is over here. Now the cool thing about extracting is that let's say I want to cut out a middle piece. I can actually go ahead and say, well, I want to cut this part out so I can mark in. And then I'm going to go ahead and go ahead just a few more seconds, say mark out. And then we can actually choose to either lift or we can extract. If I extract, as you guys can see, it cuts away the part that I highlighted and then moves in the footage. If I say lift, you guys can see it simply lifts out the footage, but leaving the space in here blank. Now, one way you can actually move the footage in is either you can drag it in so it actually matches up, or we can go ahead and simply click on the spacing, as you guys can see it now highlights, and then I can click delete. So that's essentially how we can cut our footage to make it fit whatever editing needs we might have. So if you want to edit or, you know, just simply resize the footage, you can go ahead and do that in a very simple way. And Premiere is pretty awesome when it comes to actually editing the timeline. So I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys next time.